Hey there, Rebus Forever here. Excuse the janky setup and the weird camera doodah situation all over the place. I'm intending to test these cameras and see which of them are viable for future projects. Or, you know, not. Today, though, we are here predominantly to talk about battle mats. The main sort of battle mat that uh, was going around back when I used to do more tabletop gaming, the uh, mat of aspiration was a flocked mat. I think they look pretty great. They do pick up random bits of fluff and detritus. As you can see, they're there, there, and in a uh, stock photo that I expect I'll probably pop on the screen. As a dog owner, and someone that's intending to use these battle mats for projects, and also given that I'm getting into Kill Team at the moment, which requires this size, sort of smaller, battle mat. I have been looking around to see what people use these days with PVC on various types of plastic mat with the illusion of quite detailed textured surfaces provided by quite quite nice printing and uh, I was curious how the two compared. Unfortunately even if I wanted to I couldn't find any flocked mats for Kill Team and uh, actually this is a Games Workshop one. It was 6x4 but um, I did this and now it's now it's Kill Team size. I was kind of hoping not to cut this mat up, but um, the delivery time on the mat I ordered was pretty extraordinary. So I was kind of hoping I could smarten this up enough to make it look reasonable on screen. But I just couldn't. I mean, you can see, you can see up close how awful. And, I, you know, I've gone over this with a lint brush, a lint roller. I, I destroyed a, an entire lint roller trying to get just... Look, it's gross. So yeah, I mean, they look pretty good until until you've got a pet or until some sock fluff finds it what's way onto them. I am rather hoping that this battle mat from PW Works, even though, as I say, it did arrive after it was supposed to, which was a bit of a pain. But, you know, there is a global pandemic going on, so maybe that had some sort of impact. I don't know, either way, I wouldn't order the one of their products if you're in a hurry. So, let's have a gander at this. As a side-by-side -side, side -side comparison between uh, Flock and PVC. It's pretty th thin, but um, I reckon that'll last, last quite a while. You're supposed to counter-roll it a few times. To get the natural flex out of it, I've not done that. Um, expect that if you did that yourself, it would sit flatter. Let's get rid of that. So don't reveal any personal information. Like my feelings. Um, so yeah, there's an unfortunate amount of glare because of the studio lights. Let's take that in a bit closer. I mean, this isn't showing it in its best light. I can't deny. I did think mine was going to be like a brighter green based on the pictures on the uh, website. But, apparently it wasn't. Let me uh, just change the lighting situation briefly. Okay, yeah, well, that's more of a natural impression of the thing. Let's zoom out for a second. Sorry, I'm not sure. <sighs> okay, let's put these back next to each other for the side by side with all of the shadows. I mean, in person, I think it looks pretty good. Possibly both more realistic and less realistic than the flock. My scenery is, uh, you know, all homemade, but let's populate this with some, some stuff. Let's have a hill. I won't go overboard, because as I say, my f scenery won't necessarily show anything in its best light right now. Lots of it needs finishing. Honestly, I still think I probably prefer the way that Flock looks, especially if you've got any reflections around. 
I'm sort of assessing this in real time as I look at it. In person, it looks a lot better than on camera, which is unfortunate given the medium in which I'm showing you this. I count that as a strong bias against it. But for game purposes, it's largely irrelevant. I think if you don't own pets, Flock is still... is still better, in my humble opinion. But even if you don't own pets, you're probably going to own socks. And somehow, sock fluff will make its way onto the board. I don't know how, but it's, it's, happened, it's happened to mine. Granted, my mat is like 15 years old. See, my plan was to use the map for recording battle reports and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm curious, I'm curious how I'm going to work around the shine. Perhaps dimmer bulbs? I will have to experiment. With the strong white bulb, it definitely washes out all of the colour on the mat. Hmm. This is actually uh, much harder for me to decide than I thought. It's kind of breaking the flow of what I was intending to say in the video, to be honest. I think there's been about four minutes recorded so far of me just standing here in silence, thinking. I mean, I'm definitely going to be experimenting with this, and if I can reduce the shine, then I'll be perfectly happy. As a less fluff magnet surface for a gaming mat, it definitely works. Will it work for my purposes for recording videos? I do not know. So, as we uh, close out this video, and the weather outside begins to start blowing just in time for my recording, if anyone else has any better ideas uh, for gaming surfaces that will reflect light a little bit less, while still maintaining all of the benefits of the PVC in terms of not attracting fluff, do post in the comments, because I would be more than interested in having a look. This video had originally intended to be a little review on the map, and instead became almost a lecture on sock fluff. But I like to think also the more salient point of uh, the drawback of flock when you exist in a universe that has things in it. So yeah, hopefully after I've got a bit more experience with gaming and photographing the uh, gaming map, I will be in a better position to give a little review, maybe. I also do intend to give this channel a bit more attention, since all of the Copa stuff and my concerns that LEGO-based content would be a bit of a dead end. I've decided to refocus into 40k and tabletop gaming, at least until I know what's what, but my main aim, as always, is trying to save my main gaming channel. So if you like this, be sure to subscribe here, or maybe consider checking out Rebus Forever reviews. YouTube hates my one minute-ish reviews, but people seem to like them. Maybe you'll like them. Even if YouTube doesn't think so. Anyway, um, toodle